Hello everybody, um, I am Elsa and today we are going to be doing a 15-ish minute strength workout. Um, this is all going to be body weight, you don't need any weights for it. If you want to add some in, great, there are some places that you can do that. If you don't want to add any, any weights, you don't have to do this completely body weight. I encourage you to modify as you want to, as you see fit. You are doing whatever feels good for your body. If the amount of reps that I'm giving you don't feel good for your body, feel free to do more, feel free to do less, feel free to go for 30 minutes, feel free to do this for 10 minutes. You do you, you pick what you wanna do. I am just here to guide you and provide you with options. Our first exercise today is going to be a side lunge. So you can pick whichever leg you wanna lead with first. You're gonna take a big step out to the side, right? and sink deep into it, bending that leg. Your other leg is completely straight, and then you stand back up. So down, pushing that knee over your ankle and standing up, yeah? With your hands, I typically go on my hips. You could go out in front of you if you wanted to. Totally your call, we're going for eight. If you wanted some weights right up here in the rack, also go for that. If you don't wanna sink as deep into it, don't sink as deep into it, right? Just like that. Eight per side. Let's go for two. And one. Once you finish your eight reps on that side, you're gonna take a step out with the opposite leg. Bend it, keeping that other one straight. Coming back up. Pushing that knee over your ankle and coming back. I will typically not go all the way down into it, so I always need to remind myself to sink deeper into it, push that leg out, yeah? You should be feeling a stretch right in here. Yep. Just breathe. Always remember to breathe. I am queen of breath holding, so please breathe. <laughs> Last one. Once you do that, we're gonna head down onto the mat. If you don't have a mat, use a blanket, use a towel, use the floor. Use whatever feels good for you. We're gonna take our feet about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider, up to you. Hands can come down. We're gonna send it up into a glute bridge for 10 reps. So you're gonna lift your hips all the way up and see you are squeezing your booty. Core is engaged. You don't have to be like clenching your abs, anything like that. You're just gonna engage them. You're gonna feel that they are working automatically to get you up into that position. We're gonna squeeze at the top, come back down. If that is too simple for you, feel free to like add a weight right on your hips, or you can take it up into a single leg, flexing that foot, lift up, send it back down. Lift up, still squeezing with the glute. Lift up, send it back down. I'll show you how it looks on this side. Still. 10 reps per side. Down. If you can't squeeze all the way to the top, your goal can be focusing on that range of motion, yeah? So if you can only come up here, that's totally okay. Focus on it, maybe hold it for a couple seconds instead of just dropping, and then lower back down. Your goal is to be able to hold it up high and come back down. Just like that. Doing what feels good for you. And if you don't wanna make that your goal, you don't have to make that your goal, right? I'm just here to provide you with different options, different suggestions. You don't have to follow them. It's totally in your power to say, that doesn't feel good for my body. I don't wanna do it. Our next exercise is gonna be tricep dips. So you're gonna want a table, a bench, something that you can put your hands on. It can be a chair. My cat's coming in to say hi. And you're gonna start with your feet, your legs bent at a 90 degree angle, pressing down onto your hands, coming just right off the edge of that bench, lifting down, coming back up. You want your arms to form a 90 degree angle. You are going straight down and back up. The tendency is to like wanna come out here, but then you're gonna stop working your triceps. So down and up, go for 10 if that's too easy. Legs can come out straight, all the way down, back up. Just like that. You still wanna achieve the same depth that you would be achieving in like 
the bent leg tricep dip. So if you aren't, if you think that this one's easy but you're only coming down like this, I'd suggest first getting all the way down and coming back up in this variation before you try a straight leg variation, all right? Once we finish those, we are going to do a little bit more upper body. So we're gonna do a wall overhead press. So what that is, is you can do this standing or seated. Regardless, you're gonna want your butt up against the wall, your back up against the wall, palms face out, just like that. And you're gonna slide all the way up, come back down. Your goal is to have contact with your arms the whole time, yeah? Slide up, come back down. Don't break any paintings while you're at this, okay? And down. Gonna go for a 10 like that. If you wanna do it standing, totally cool. Still making sure you are pressing your back into that wall. So you're gonna have to engage your core a little bit. Like in a traditional overhead press, you're gonna have to pull in a little bit to achieve that like tucked position. You could also grab a pair of dumbbells if you didn't wanna do any of those. Just press straight up and down like that. If this is easier for you to picture and you don't have weights, you can also do that. Just gonna wanna make sure you're pulling those shoulders down out of your ears, pressing straight up and straight down, just like that. So keep going with whatever overhead press you decide to do for 10 reps total, okay? Once we hit that 10, take a sip of water if you choose to, and then we're just gonna restart that circuit. This is a circuit training exercise, so you're doing it as many times as you can in the allotted amount of time, which today it is 15 seconds. It's 15 minutes, not seconds. We would have been way over time by now if it was 15 seconds. Um, so you're just gonna keep going with that in the 15 minutes. Again, if you don't have 15 minutes, do it in five, do it in 10. You are doing what feels right for you. It's always what counts, you are your priority. Okay, if you have done all of that and it feels good to you, we are going to start back into those side lunges, yeah? Choose whichever leg you want to lead with. It doesn't have to be the same as last time, whichever feels good. Taking that step, bending your knee, sending it all the way out over that ankle. Opposite leg is straight. Come back up to the center. Down and back up. I'll show you from the side. Down and back up. If you need more support from a wall, grab onto a wall, totally up to you. Grab onto a table, don't sink as deep, up to you. There are a bunch of different ways to modify this exercise and so many other exercises in a way that feels good for you. I encourage you to find that way and do it. Go ahead and switch sides now. Going down, standing up, trying to keep that chest elevated as much as you possibly can, yeah? Keeping that back nice and flat. I'll show you from this way. Back nice and flat, yeah? I tend to lean forward a lot. That's just how my proportions allow me to do a lot of these things comfortably. Um, so it's about finding what works for your body and feels good, but my back is still flat, yeah? Okay, once we have done all eight of those per side. We're going back into our glute bridges, yeah? Coming back down onto the ground. Again, single leg or double, totally up to you. We can start with the double if that is easier. And work your way up. If you did the double leg, so both legs are on the ground last round, you were thinking, maybe that was a little too simple for me. Awesome. Start going with the single leg, yeah? One foot comes up, you lift, and you lower. All under control, yeah? Up to you, I'll show you the other side too. Everybody has like a strong side and a weak side. Um, so if this is the case for you, you feel it a lot during this exercise, still do the single leg on your weaker side. Still do it to build up that strength. You got it. We are doing 10 of these. So if you're doing the traditional glute bridge, 10 total. If you're doing single leg, 10 per side. 
you want to modify it, modify it. I'm never going to stop you from that or say, no, you can never do it. You can never do it your way. You have the power to take this into your own hands and do what you want with it. After that, we are going to move right back into those tricep dips. So grab your surface of choice, your chair, your couch, your bed, anything that feels good for you. You can start off with the 90 degree ones if you want, lifting down and pulling up, keeping those triceps hugged in line with your body. Yeah, not letting them come all the way out. If that's too easy again, feet out in front so more weight is in your triceps, down and up. Ha. Keep it going. You have eight, 10 total, sorry. 10, we can't cut it out easy. Once you have gotten full 10 of those, continuing with your upper body, we're doing our overhead presses. For me, I am doing the wall variation. If you, again, prefer dumbbells or a standing variation, go for it, right? All I ask is that you keep it safe, do what feels good for your body in a safe way. We slide up and down, yeah? Maintaining contact with the wall and with your back. These are way harder than they look. I'm just putting that out there right now. Breathe. Always remember to breathe. And that's 10. If you didn't finish your 10, keep going until you finish that 10, yeah? I'm gonna restart the series, starting with our side lunges. Yeah, we're doing eight of them per side. It'll start to burn a little. If you wanna take it slower, take it slower, yeah? Other side. And please remember to take a water break whenever you need it. Totally up to you. Back on the floor for our glute bridges, either the more traditional version or the single leg, up to you, yeah? Big squeeze at the top, ha. Ah. Just 10 of these. And 10. Once we hit all 10 of those, we're going back into our tricep dips, yeah? Whichever variation feels good for you and hopefully challenges you a little, yeah? You always wanna be challenged. Ten of these and 10. Once you hit your 10 reps on that guy, we are heading straight back into our overhead presses. That's it, and then you are done once you finish those. Legs straight in front, back and booty against this wall, starting at the 90 degree angle, sliding up and coming down. Just breathe with it. Remember, your goal is to not let those shoulders hunch up. You wanna keep them pulled back and out of your ears. That is it for me for this workout. Um, I hope you were able to enjoy that. Hope you got a good little rush of energy from that. Um, yeah, I will be doing 
more strength workouts, both body weight, with weights. Let me know if there's like a certain kind of weight that you want to use, resistance bands, any of that stuff. Totally open to doing all of that good stuff. But for today, that is it. Thank you for joining me.